morning student i'm back here again with your ssc so in my last uh, topic i discuss about the last video the last video i discuss about what the climate okay the location the climate the transport and the sports now i'm going to talk about here the transport of chennai okay the transport of chennai city so buses buses are the main means of transport in chennai city okay or you can say it is the main means of public transport in chennai city chennai it is the home to the largest bus terminus terminus in asia so largest bus terminus okay the last stop on a place of a bus stop so largest what bus terminus it is compared not with a state it is compared with asia means in asia it is the largest bus terminus okay which is named as Chennai Mofazil Bus Terminus. Chennai Mofazil Bus Terminus, where the bus stop, okay, the final bus stop there, okay, from all the corner of the city. So, beside that, auto rickshaw. Auto rickshaw is the means of transport beside buses, okay. Bus transport is the main transport. Besides, auto rickshaw and taxis are also playing very important role in the transport system of Chennai city. Chennai Central is the main railway station, and Chennai International Airport is the airport that is connecting the domestic and international flights to different part of the country. Okay, so Chennai Central, Chennai Central is the rail station. Okay, in uh, Chennai city, which is uh, famous for it. Uh, Uh, train and all, and also Chennai International Airport, which is connecting the city with the define with the different part of the country. Chennai has two parts: central part and inner part. Sorry, it is Chennai has two port. Okay, central port and inner port. Now, this two port port means what? The place where where boats and ships stop. So Chennai got two ports. One is central port and another is in in our port which are playing a very uh, very important role in the transport system of chennai so here we talk about transport of chennai city so we find what students we find that chennai is what famous for it bus transport okay it is a most important public transport in chennai and besides that that there are some other transport system also railway station plus airport is also mentioned in our book so let us go to now our place of tourist attraction of chennai city now one thing i forgot to um, mention you that chennai is really very famous for its tourist attraction place now let us see which are the places okay which uh, attract people okay to visit this city first of all the second largest beach yes the second largest beach okay of the world Okay, second largest beach comparing to the world, it is the second largest beach. That is Marina Beach, one of the famous beach. Okay, which is visited by the people from a different country or different part of the world. Then, beside that, Kapileshwar Temple, one of the ancient temple of Chennai, oldest temple of Chennai, which is famous for its detailed architectures. Okay, for its detailed architecture, architecture it is known for. and what it is the one of the oldest temple found in this chennai so beside uh, kapileshwar temple there are some other places which really attract the people of other part of the country like sri patashartya uh, patashartya temple sanatham baslika church then gundi national park and victoria war memorial <coughs> these are some of the places which which attract the people to visit chennai so i hope whenever you may visit or whenever i also i wish to visit these places because um, when i come to explain you it is very very interesting to know about these places so one day might uh, by the blessing of god you and we all people may visit these places so now let us go to the industry of chennai okay industry chennai has several factor uh, factories which uh, manufacture cotton and silk Okay, silk textile, leather goods, military tanks, railway coaches, bicycle, then tractors and automobiles. So Chennai is very rich in industry. 
Okay, it is very rich in industry. Cycle, tractor, automobile. Then you can say your silk textile is the one of the uh, most uh, special product which is produced there in Chennai. Then leather goods are also produced there in Chennai. Beside our industries, if we talk about the government offices, then we can say that the offices of the governor, chief minister, other minister and senior official of the state government of Tamil Nadu are in Chennai. Most of them also live in Chennai. So, beside all this, one very important thing, more than 300 temples, more than how many temples? Yes, more than 300 temples alone, alone uh, exist in where? Tamil Nadu. Okay? Exist in Tamil Nadu. So, we can say that Chennai is not only a beautiful place, but also it is a holy place where we people uh, visit for uh, uh, to get the, the entertainment of life and also the what blessing of God. So, once in a life, I hope all of you may visit that here. So, today I'm go I, I've already explained the whole topic of this lesson. So, student, I hope that you may write the fill of the blanks and the true false of this lesson by yourself. Now, just after or half an hour or uh, no, yeah, up at evening time, I'm going to what upload the question answer of this lesson okay, through your school group. So, all students are hereby asked that you check your school group for the question answer at evening time and now you may repeat the video again and again to understand the lesson of, okay, about Chennai city. So, till then, I would like to say goodbye but before that, I would like to say that in my last uh, two videos, I have already explained you your Kolkata and another one chapter has been explained to you. Let me see what chapter was that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I explained about Delhi also. So, Delhi, Kolkata, and here it is. No, I'm sorry, it is uh, Mumbai. I, I explained you about Mumbai, then Kolkata, now I'm explaining you about Chennai. So, Mumbai and Kolkata question answer was been provided to you by the teacher. So, I hope you are learning the question answers. Be, be, be prepared for your uh, exam. It means whenever the school will reopen, then I, I hope that you are going to appear as them. So, till then, have a uh, good day, all of you. And uh, as usual, I would like to say all the students, stay home and stay safe. Take care of yourself and study hard for the preparation of the upcoming exams or coming uh, uh, reopen of the school. So, till then. Have a nice day and goodbye.